morning. It's Thursday morning. We got the engine warming up. Uh, sun just did come up. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's over there. And there's like practically no breeze. I was thinking about trying to go outside. Uh, not much of a breeze. If I did, I might just be motoring the whole way. But the tires will be with me for a couple hours going up the other way. And that'll be against me, so I don't know. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and just get out everything ready just in case. Get all the covers off, all the lines straightened straight back up again after being tied for so long and I'll decide when I get close to the inlet uh, what am I do I stay on the inside or try to jump out so there's not going to be much when if I jump out it's going to be a good way before I can get back in if I need to so we'll just have to see how it goes I'll play it by ear I'll try to keep you posted when I get a chance if I'm not getting too busy trying to take care of things all right, I'll check back with you. There's not, not much wind at all blowing, but I still get four knots out of it. Not four knots, four miles. And uh, I'll just have to wait and see how the rest of the day goes. So far, it's been a very nice uh, trip. I'll check back here when you want to have something to say. Bye. What I thought happened was going to happen pretty much dead. I've got no wind at all you see uh thing i'm getting all of uh 3.2 miles an hour 3.1 i'm heading the right direction just a lot slower i knew there wasn't going to be a whole lot of wind today but uh i was going to take the chance that it might be nice enough to be out i mean it's nice sailing again it's the first time in a while but uh, I'm not putting any miles under the belt. I'll go up here and see what this looks like. There's, I said, I got full sails out. Kind of a beam reach, but you see if the waves, there's no waves, there's no wind. There's not much of anything going on. It's just, uh, Well, you can say it may be slow, but it is definitely peaceful. I just haven't been used to this in a while. And if it doesn't pick up in a little bit, I'm probably going to have to turn on the old iron lung to get me some miles. But this is, uh, I say it's quiet, peaceful. I got the autopilot gone. Got the solar panels working. Hopefully they're going to keep up with the... Uh, with the autopilot, I don't use up too much energy. But on tilt is slightly on tilt, not much, but a little bit. Well, I just hope the wind picks up a little bit more later on, otherwise I am gonna have to turn the power back on. Hope I don't have to. We'll find out, won't we? Well, I had to come up here so I could talk to you in peace. I got down, the wind got down, there's like no wind. I was going maybe two, under two, up two. I had to turn the uh, engine on, motor on. Went down and didn't sound right. Went down in my uh, water separator, was full of water. So I had to get in there, take that out, try to get the water out of it, keep the thing running. Adjust the stuffing box, and then the nuts spun off on it. I'd turn it off and get the nut adjusted back upright, drain the fluid. It seems to be running okay now, but we're under uh, diesel power and not wind power. There's just like no wind, dead. All my telltales are just like flopping. Uh, That's why. I didn't really want to come out today because I didn't think there was going to be much wind and there isn't. It's going to die for a little bit and then pick up. If I have to, at least it's pretty much a straight shot motor and don't have to take them go in and out and turn here and turn there. I can take a straight bearing and just go with it. If I get to uh, get back to wind power, 
again, I'll I'll come back on it. Tell you how it's going. Well, okay, it's about 2:30. I've got finally think I got all the boats worked out. I took my head sail down because it was just flapping. There's like no, it says there's eight knots, but you couldn't tell it by me. I, I doubt if there's even three. Four, maybe if that, just a breeze falling. I got the the main still up, just because it's and it's flapping. You can probably hear it going on. It's about 2:30. I'm about uh, 10 miles away from the St. John River Inlet. Turn around this way. Back up that way, and uh, then I still got about hour to two to get where I'm going to anchor tonight up I'm going to go back inside and get up there in the coast a little bit and there's a place to anchor if I don't make it that far halfway in once I get in I'm going to try to make it a place where I stopped the last time but I got all the bugs worked out and I guess with all the shaking and rolling back and forth how the water separated collected water again so I had trouble with that I had a drain that out and I had to bleed the lines again but it's all seems to be fine now but uh, we'll tell after well, after a while it's been a little while without doing anything with it but uh like I say it's still almost two hours to the uh, St. John's Inlet and then a little farther from that to get in where I'm gonna hang but so much for trying to sail out here today. We got it's about four foot, four foot, five foot rollers, you know, which isn't bad, you know. Go four, four something going up them and five something coming down them. But there's like, there's no wind at all. Once I get back in St. John's River, I'll uh, get on again and tell you if it's okay. Or at least that I made it. All right, we'll see you next trip. So it's about 3:30 right now. I'm off of uh, Neptune Beach, Atlantic Beach, coming off on I'm probably only five miles from the St. John Inlet, and finally picked up a little bit of wind. It's just a beam reach. I only have the main so out, but I'm getting a little help from that. I've changed a little bit too, so I'm hit between five and six speed right now. It's better than what it was. And uh, time-wise, it's going to be pretty good. I mean, it's only 3.30, 3.30, and I've got three, four hours, four and a half hours of daylight left. I'll be able to get to that anchorage I was hoping to. Not too much trouble, but at least I'm getting a little bit of help from the wind finally. It isn't long enough. I won't complain though. Oh, a whole bunch of fun. Had a big Coast Guard cutter coming in behind me. Barges coming in the St. John's River Inlet. Got the water in the water separator down. I'm trying to get that out. So I have smoke coming out the back back pipes trying to get the water drained trying to keep the engine going coast guard cutters barges big cruise liners just all kinds of stuff going all over the place here machine guns wow on the turret okay I gotta go alright I finally anchored place that I anchored when I came down this way I'll have to go in and check what the actual date was but it was uh, pretty sure pretty sure it was November sometime in November that I anchored here before and I anchored in about 23 feet of water right now and it's almost high tide if Everything works good. Got a nice sunset from here, though. Anyway, 
and uh, tired. It wore me out today. All the things with the water and the fuel thing again, the engine died again, and going out, spending an hour to get outside so I could sail. Sailed an, an hour, and then I had to put the motor back on, and then so it cost me an hour out, and then at least an hour or so back in. So it cost me two hours for one sailing of hour, one hour of sailing, which it definitely wasn't worth it this time. But uh, how much would you look to me? There you go, and I get a picture of me. But like I said, uh, I'm pretty tired. And like I said, I had that, it's with all the jostling around, it knocked what little bit of water was left in the fuel tank down into the, uh, the uh, water separator. And the engine did die on me a couple times when I was out, but I was able to heave to and take care of the problem. And prayed that I made it in here, but it made it okay. Smoked a little bit, had a little bit of water run through. But for the most part, my first, first night back out, out in the ocean for a good bit most of the day out there but when you have to motor out in the ocean it's kind of a, a mute point You're like okay if I was inside at least I have some scenery well I'm gonna get an early start tomorrow trust me I'm not gonna wait I didn't get I didn't start till like 8 o'clock and I'm gonna get out by 7 first light this puppy's going I'm ready to get back, back to the old home base. One last look at the sunset. And I'm gonna get me something to eat. A fried egg sandwich. Yay, oh boy.